But the Marco Polo, garbage. Austin, okay, but garbage, more towards garbage as well. But in the end, and I'm saying it one more time, I think having two more garbage ships in the game is better than two broken ones. Changed my mind. i rather have garbage ships more in the game than insane ones. I mean, it could be. I mean, they could be a bit stronger. They are. They are not even average. Don't get me wrong, but yeah. But imagine, imagine, imagine like for example, Austin had three second, four second base reload, the reload booster, and smoke screen. Then it would be utterly ridiculous suddenly, or having a radar. I don't know. Can you play Colombo? I played Colombo already. It's pretty garbage. Lepanto is better, and Lepanto is not a good either. I wish both would be a tiny bit stronger, that's true, because I think they'd be low average. But better having a below average one than an overpowered one still. Hey, see that that's not good land? And look at my radar direction. Let's see if my team shoots them once, or if I have to shoot them the whole time now. Look at this. Look on of what kind of insane impact I had now in comparison already. The problem is with these two ships that are not that good is knowing wargaming if you go for a buff it's gonna be insane. They should just change a tiny bit, but what they will do eventually, if they change them, is gonna be Hey, let's just give that thing 6 second better reloads, it has 1 second with a reload boost or something, that's the problem Surprised we didn't hit him in the wall. <coughs> Go ball makes him work for sure, like you say in the diff. Exactly. It's just this thing is just straight up better. <laughs> and this is a tech tree ship. What? Hello? I'm aiming quite high already. Yeah, I'm against that idea as well. Of course. I'm not questioning that. I'm just want to say that if you don't have, if you don't have steel. And you just want to get a good ship, get this ship here, for example. You don't need to spend cash on it, you can just grind it. And it's a great tech to ship. FCV strike, yeah, this the DIA is okay. DIA is not bad, but the CV will still win against you if he wants to. He loses a lot of planes, but yeah. In the end, the CV will still kill you. It has really good AA, I can't deny that, but that's it.
Man, these games are really one-sided today, though. <laughs> Believe it or not, I actually enjoyed Seattle a lot <laughs> back in the day. I needed, like, with my flex, 12 games or something, and I had Wooster grinded. Rip him. <laughs> I'm not surprised since you joined. I do enjoy the Pensacola. It's a challenging ship to play, and if you if you catch somebody, you can really punish them quite a lot. I do like Pens a lot. <laughs> it's true. Noise to angles. I'm gonna stick with A3. I need intelligence data. Hmm. They have only a permanent Lepanto, so no real crossfire potential. That's good. Oh, both of them are there. Perfect. That means we can deal with Indy. Okay. Wait, Slava doesn't have to solve it. Damage gone. I forgot that. Let's burn him, and he has 32mm deck armor, so let's just burn him to the ground. Oh, he's not even aiming for me, rip that slava. is actually quite a problem for me right now <coughs> but at least he's not gonna torp me Oh, he switches to HE, that means we can use all, all our guns now. Is he going HE again? I wanna see if I can open up. Okay, that's AP. There we go. Ah, oh, that suddenly set me on fire. We're not gonna go dark anymore. No, we don't want to use all guns. That might be typical otherwise. Enemy 
No, Pomeran secondaries. Heal, 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 heal. Fund was also there. Hmm, that was really close. Cousin Coffee, thank you for your Twitch Prime. Cousin Welcome. Coffee just subscribed. Welcome to the Oof Army, my friend. I appreciate it. Wait, did he lose the gun completely? <laughs> no, he did not. GG. And there we go, guys. This is what I'm trying to show you. Look, 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 look at how effective this ship is in comparison. And we even played it quite ridiculous, to be honest. I played it super aggressive. We didn't even try to like hide ourselves whatsoever. Three kills. We we didn't help capping. Okay, never mind. But 150, 42 damage. Okay, first in the team. And this is solo. This is solo. <laughs> And it's a, it's a tech tree ship that I always recommend to people. Because I think the Wooster is a really good ship.